the controversy surrounding that popular new Netflix series, 13 Reasons Why. The drama, which was co-produced by Selena Gomez, takes on the sensitive issue of teen suicide, and ABC's Mars Campo examines it. This morning, backlash over the Netflix series 13 Reasons Why. Some saying the show may be doing more harm than good. Why didn't you say this to me when I was alive? The series, based on the young adult novel of the same name and co-produced by Selena Gomez, centers around high school student Hannah Baker, who takes her own life after leaving audio recordings for the 13 people she claims contributed to her death. Settle in because I'm about to tell you the story of my life. Now, some suicide prevention groups saying the show glamorizes suicide, the second leading cause of death among those ages 15 to 34, according to the CDC. My fear about this show, they're going to watch this and they're not going to reach out for help because they're going to feel as though there's no reason to. Suicide prevention experts adding the show doesn't offer any strategies for coping with thoughts of suicide or alternatives to taking one's own life. It's really important for people to know that about 90% of the people that die by suicide have a mental health issue at the time of their death. They miss the mental health aspects when it comes to suicide that are well known and well documented worldwide. But show producers say they actually hope the series can help those who may be struggling, as Selena Gomez shared in the Netflix after show Beyond the Reasons accompanying the series. We wanted to do it in a way where it was honest and we wanted to make something that can hopefully help people because suicide should never, ever be an option. Overnight, Netflix telling ABC News in a statement, we support the unflinching vision of the show's creators who engaged the careful advice of medical professionals in the script writing process. The producing team adding they provide suicide prevention resources and information on crisis hotlines in more than 35 countries on a sister website. For Good Morning America, Mara Esquivel-Campo, ABC News, New York. Thanks, tomorrow for that. We're here with Dr. Janet Taylor, child psychiatrist. And I, I got to say, I watched a couple of these episodes with my older daughter, Elliot, who's 14. It's both, you know, gripping and disturbing at the same time. But we decided it was just too much for our 11-year-old. Well, and as parents, we have that option. But the reality is I applaud Selena Gomez. You had Lady Gaga on talking about mental health issues because we have to break the silence. And too often, young people especially suffer in silence thinking they're the only one. So you made the decision as parents, it's too much. But for so many kids, they may not have parents to talk to. They don't talk about it. And the reality is it affects everyone. How do you get that balance right between, you know, revealing something, reaching out to people, and glamorizing it? Well, it, again, I think we don't talk enough about when things aren't going well. I, I had a young patient that said, I have to be perfect because I'm so flawed. Where did she get that from? You know, people who are, are, are really fake um, in terms of uh, covered up and, and not seeing the raw issues that bullying accounts for, the raw issues that sexual abuse or trauma or sexual assault. And because we kids feel like they can't talk about it, they keep silent. And so we have to break the silence, talk to our parents, talk to counselors. If you have a family history of mental illness, be aware of it, talk to your children. If your child makes a threat about wanting to hurt themselves, take it seriously. That's the big sign to watch for. It, it is, but the sign is that we have to communicate, share experiences. Being a teenager in today's world is not all it cracks up to be. As adults, we look back and think they have so much freedom, but they're dealing with real issues and real pressure. And I think this show gives the opportunity to watch together with your parents and talk about those issues and listen without judgment. Janet Taylor, thanks for coming in.